Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Michelle here. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys a new makeup bag that I purchased, kind of more so like a travel bag, but I figured, you know, the holidays are coming up, people are going here, people are going there, and I really, really love this bag, so I wanted to obviously share it with you. Now, um, I know for a while now I have been saying that I'm decluttering, and that's not just makeup. I've been decluttering everything around here um, from jewelry, um, lingerie, uh, accessories, my makeup bags, my, you know, purses, all of my boots, my heels, all that stuff. I really hope by the 1st of January, I'm kind of just <sighs> cleansed. I've been going through a lot lately and I feel very lost in a certain way. It's kind of hard to explain. Like I personally kind of know how to explain it, but I feel kind of embarrassed by doing it because a lot of people kind of will hear it and be like, really? Like that's what you're upset about? And I don't want to hear it. So um, some people get it. Some people don't. I don't want to be that person to have to fight for myself. It's what I feel. What is what it is. Um, but I'm trying to really get myself to where I used to be. So if that makes any sense to you. Anyway, it's not part of the video. So the bag, so I got rid of, um, 10 makeup bags. So normally when in the past, when I did travel, I would carry two makeup bags, one, a toiletry bag, two, a makeup bag. And then any like odds or ends I would put in my husband's like little case he would carry and um I don't know kind of got a pain in the ass to have two so I found this and I'm super obsessed look how pretty this is so this is from Tartan and Twine I found this at Target and I love this so I love the black I love the gold hardware I love the fact that you have a nice little handle and this has skincare in it it has my makeup brushes it has everything in it and it's only $7.99 so I'm obsessed with it um they had white purple brown black I think a blue but I super super love this now I did not think I was going to fill it as much as I did but I did also side note my makeup has been from all day long I've had this makeup on for now 12 hours and it's falling apart, so. <laughs> All right, so let's open the bag and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So as soon as you open it up, ooh, you have this netted part, hope you can see it. This netted part right here, the plastic part has a zipper, this has a zipper, and then this has like more of the plastic part. So I'll show you the bag more in detail when I empty it out. So we're gonna go in through makeup first. So. I'm just gonna pull and explain. So the first thing I have is one of my favorite palettes from Tarte. This is the Double Duty Beauty Palette. And I love this palette. So I love this. I will actually do this for a transition shade. This as a crease shade. It smells so good. These shades are beautiful, very pigmented, long lasting right up my alley with the shades. I love the metallic shades. Again, just beautiful. One of my favorite, favorite palettes that Tarte makes. I hate messing up my hands. All right, next I have the Mega Cushion Foundation. Um, uh, yeah, Mega Cushion Foundation from Wet n Wild. One of my favorites, especially in the winter time. So today I was doing my makeup Thank gosh. When I was doing my primer, I'm like doing this and I noticed like right in here. Oh my God. I like literally took me like six minutes to peel all the dry skin off. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? And it's that time of year for me. I have normal to dry skin. It's definitely, definitely, it's definitely drier in the winter time. So this is amazing. It's definitely, I will take my beauty blender and just dunk it in. It's not dewy, I will say that, but it's definitely hydrating. So I love this. I'm in the shade 109 Neutral Beige. So I have that in there for more natural days. 
And then I have the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. I actually love this stuff, but that's not what's in the bottle. I actually went through it and put in the Maybelline um, Fix It Spray. They have a new name for it, but that's what I have in here. Next, I have the Lorac Los Angeles Holiday Kit from last year. And I'm hoping they come out with really good stuff like they did last year. But this is the Color Source and Light Source Cheek Palette. And love this. So you get four blushes in here and then two highlights. The highlights I never ever really reach for to be honest with you. But the blushes are amazing. And the highlights are good as well. I just, I like more of an icy kind of highlight. Um, but these are gorgeous they are really 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 gorgeous so I love that I promised myself I wasn't gonna swatch good red lip love 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 this is the wet and wild uh liquid cat suit in missy and fierce and love the doe foot number one again swatching that is so beautiful I'm obsessed with it and I figured Thanksgiving Christmas whatever obsessed with it so I have that then for primer I have the bare minimals prime time original foundation and primer this is really good you guys it blurs everything it gives you hydration it just has everything all around and um very very affordable Sephora Ulta normally when you go in there primers are like 30 some dollars this is like 22 maybe 26 really good primer been obsessed with it lately Bronzer. This is an old guy. I should probably throw it away, but I'm obsessed. Step by step contour palette from Smashbox. I actually will use um, the darker one to contour the nose, but this is really good. I'm not going to swatch. Why am I swatching? Um, this is what I have in there. Love that. Um, then for setting powder, I have the Aaliyah Fig Into You setting powder. This is really good, you guys. Highly recommend if you're looking for a clean product obsessed with it. For concealer, I have the Stellar Beauty. Um, it's something like Illusion something. This is really good. Love that. Um, then for foundation, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Stick Foundation. I have that for more full coverage. I'm dropping everything. Um, another eyeshadow palette I have in here is from Becca. I'm not going to stay in here long because honestly, I don't think you can find this anymore, but I wanted to mention what I have in here. This is the Ombre Rouge palette and I'm a boring bitch and this screams happiness to me. I will use this nonstop. So I love that. Then to kind of tweak up the look a little bit, I have these three items. So I have the Smashbox Photo Edits um, and Hashtag Goals Trio. Obsessed with it. Kind of looks summery to you, but to me, that's all year round. Obsessed. Then I have the Morphe uh, Metallic Eyeshadows in Poppin and Flare. I actually like to put down Flare and then put Poppin on top of it and make an amazing look. I have Poppin uh, by itself on the eye. doesn't look too bad, so I love that. Then for lips, I'm not a typical lipstick kind of gal. I'm just not. Um, I keep playing with my hair because the curl on it looks a little bit ridiculous right now. Um, Sephora. I love the Nothing But Nude lip liner. And then I have the lip gloss. And Nothing But Nude is just beautiful. I have to swatch it for you because it is gorgeous. Obsessed with this. It's a little mini one for travel. And then I love this. It actually rubbed off. So I don't know the name. But what I really love ooh, is the applicator. You see how it's kind of like, like dime shaped. It gets right in here. Like you'll never go out of the lines. Like it's amazing. love this stuff and the color is beautiful so I have that for makeup and then in this pocket right here I have more of like eye stuff so I have the makeup revolution um 
brow pencil, one of my hands down favorites out of anything that I've tried in the past like five months maybe. Amazing and I have mine in the shade dark brown. I have the Essence waterproof pencil or not pencil pen and this is so good you guys. I highly recommend it's like two bucks and it is so good. I for some odd reason have lash glue in there. Probably never going to use it, but I have it. Um, always good to be prepared. And then I have the Lorac. Um, this is the Royal Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. So you actually get a primer on one end. It's like blue. Don't know why, but it's blue. And then you obviously get the mascara on the other end. I was going to travel with my Koki primer and mascara but it's two separate things so I was trying to be convenient and only do one I have a sharpener and then last in this pocket I have a spoolie and this is just a morphe spoolie you can go to walmart and get one from elf for like a buck so a spoolie is a spoolie then we have this over here I'm going to go into my brushes first so the first is a Morphe brush, and I got this in a holiday kit along with the spoolie. This I love for highlights, just putting it on, calling it a day. This brush is from Sonia Cashel. Cashel, I always say that wrong, sorry. But this brush is so fluffy. I can use it to put on powder. I can use it to do a light bronzer. And what it's meant for is a nice blush. So I can use it for everything. Must, can't live without. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. And they have a few of them. I have this one right here. You kind of see a lot of people using this one more than this one. Um, but you can definitely tell the difference. But this is really good for under the eye. It's a really good for a light contour. But this one, I just love for a nice light under the eye. I don't know. There's a difference for me. So I have that. And then for eye shadow brushes, I have my Holy Grail M330 for Morphe. I have the M506 for Morphe. I have the M505 for Morphe. Raw Techniques shading brush. I don't use this for shading. I use it to get right in that under eye. My Luxie 239, I love this for the under the brow. And then this is from Profusion, I love it for that inner corner. Yep, I'm that extra. Next, we're gonna get into skincare. And I'm kinda all over with this. I do have a few things I need to add, but I need to find. So, um, first is first. I love this, you guys, so much you don't even understand. This is the Aftermath, Aftermath Post Makeup Spray from Koki. I love this. So I love doing skincare. I love doing my steps. But there's some days I love just doing a makeup wipe and calling it a day. I don't want to do a serum after a serum to a moisturizer to a sleep mask. I don't want to do all that. Um, But this is so good. You can actually, like, right now, put it on top of makeup. It's not going to harm you. But I love normal days when I can just take my makeup off, apply this, and go about my day. And it helps my skin. It's very inexpensive. So it's packed with vitamins, minerals to boost and refresh tired, stressed skin. Which is like me every day. Just saying. But I love, love, love this. It's a must for me. Like, I have so many things I do try in my everyday life. But there are things that have to go and have to be in my area, my surrounding. It has to be with me. This is one of them. So, I love that. Um, This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides Unflavored Powder, I guess. And I tried this and I love it. Um, you can go to Walmart and get these for a dollar. So it's collagen. Um, it helps skin, hair, nails, grass-fed, grass pasture-raised, unflavored. And um, so you just take a bottle of water, put this in there, shake it up. It does honestly not taste like anything. Been obsessed with this. Definitely have to have it. So that's another one. 
vitamin wise I take now I, I have a different one I'm going to try but I have the sugar bear vitamins the multivitamins and obviously those are vegan um, omega-3 vitamin b12 um, vitamin c d2 so I have I have two left obviously they look like little gummy bears they smell so amazing but I don't know I feel like they they work but kind of don't work I don't know I'm kind of like all over the mix so I'm trying something different if you want to you know see or know about it I will let you know but for right now I'm going to finish these so you get 10 for 9.99 so it's kind of up there in price but I'm going to finish them this is something really cool. So this is from, this is my beauty blender. So beauty blenders and now come in this like hard case. And I love this actually, cause I don't like dirt like anywhere. Like my makeup drawer, I cleaned it up again. Like I literally clean my purse every single night. I like everything to be super clean. So I love the fact that you can throw this in there put the lid back on and it's not going to roll over all over in the bag. All right, we have the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Cleanser. I love this. I love everything about it. It takes everything off of my makeup and um, it has triple charcoal in it. So it's very, you know, gives you a lot of benefits. For eye gel, I have the Naya Fake Awake Triple Action Gel. Do I think it does a whole lot? Not really. Like if you guys have a really good gel or cream for eyes that does amazing work, let me know in the comments below. This doesn't really do it for me, but it's all I have right now on hand, so I'm taking it. All right, I have two things from Direct Elephant that I've been loving, and they are in travel form. I have the Luxury Facial Oil in the, oh my God, I'm getting this everywhere um the lala whipped cream i've been loving both of these so i'm taking that um next this is a must in my collection this is the Too faced mascara melt off i will literally take this that's what it looks like and go in here in here and go up and up and go in the water line let it sit for about five minutes and then take a makeup wipe or whatever cleanser everything is off it is so amazing i highly recommend i have the um sol de janeiro is that how you say it um bum bum cream i can smell this all day it smells so good i have a little bit left i need to get rid of so i am taking it with me i have the laneige water sleeping mask i love this and actually one thing I think is pretty cool, especially for a brand that's so high end, is you know when you get a product that's like more of a travel sample size, the actual product is like nothing, but the packaging is like amazing. You're like, oh my God, I'm gonna get so much of the travel size, I'm so excited. And you get nothing. This is actually pretty filled in there. I've used it probably five times and I still have so much to go and I've been loving it. So um, there is that. I have my eyelash curler from Revlon. I have the Sugar Advanced Therapy from Fresh. Been loving that. Obviously deodorant. I always use the Dove. Um, there was a scent name for it, but the green lid or the green packaging, obsessed with that. Obviously have a hair tie, a must in the winter time, the Sugar Bear Heavenly Lip Scrub. I have the Body Custard from Hideaway in Vanilla Caramel. So one of my subscribers sent me this and like literally it reminds me of when I was growing up and my mom would bake and she would give me a butter knife, a butter knife and I would do this. This smells so good. You get so much in here. There's so many good flavors. Fruit Loops, amazing. Or Fruity Loops. I can't remember how they say it, but that's amazing. Then I have a moisturizer from Sephora, the HYA All Day Hydrator. I keep forgetting about this until I pull it out of the bag or my container over there. This is so good. It just is amazing. I need to get a bigger version. Um, so I love, 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 love this. 
Then I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, that's all it says. Silk Canvas. I don't like this as a primer per se, but I do love it. Obviously, hit a little bit of pan. I do love it for the last um, step in my skincare. Very, very amazing. Obsessed with that. Then I have two travel size perfumes. So I need to get rid of my travel size perfumes. I've had them for so long. Um, Tom Ford Black Orchard and um, Miss Dior. So I love those. And then I'm going to Mara before I leave. I'm going to go to Ulta. And this is a second must for me every single day. It never fails. It's like brushing my teeth. I have to have this. This is the Clinique Dramatic Different Hydrating Jelly. You can go to the end cap at Sephora or at Ulta and pick up a little guy. It's like 0.5 fluid ounces for $5. Or you can get a bigger one for $14. i am going to grab grab the bigger one for $14. I use this every single day and night. And then somewhere around here, I purchased the Simple Wipes. They had it at... Um, CBS, you can get one that has like seven wipes in it and it's so like small and compact to put in the bag but i think that's it i think i'm so prepared am i forgetting anything if you think i'm forgetting anything leave it in the comments below but this bag guys is amazing so again you get this zippered part i will say my only issue with this bag is i wish this side and this side was equal because I feel like if I have, you know, eyeshadow over here and it breaks, it can get all over because it's netted. Or I feel if I put skincare over there instead and something breaks, it can leak throughout the packaging. So I will say I do love the fact they give you a bonus. They give you this side and this side to pack stuff up. But again... Um, tartan and twine, beautiful, obsessed with it. Um, yeah. So that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to finish curling my hair. I always do that, um, a day before I leave and go to sleep with it because it lasts me for a good three days where my hair looks a little bit wavy and done. I don't have to worry about doing it. Um, and then wipe off some makeup, wipe off this face and get some sleep. Hope everyone has an amazing Thanksgiving. I love you guys so much, and I will see everybody in my next video.